come to mathematics. You won't need special equipment, millions of dollars, or lots of people. You just need your brain. Mathematics is pure. It don't rest. It only needs your thoughts to make it work. So, a very pleasant morning to all. My name is Sharanya, studying 9th standard from Narayana Pindati branch. And today, my topic is quadratic equations and expressions. So, theory of quadratic equations is very important concept in mathematics. Even though it is a topic of algebra, it acts as a tool in topics like trigonometry, geometry, etc. So, first of all, what is the difference between an equation and an expression? An expression is nothing but the combination of two or more terms. And the equation is the expression which is having an equal to symbol is called an equation. Next coming to quadratic. So quadratic in the sense anything which is of the degree 2. So any equation which is of degree 2 is called a quadratic equation. The general form of quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. Where a, b, c belongs to r nothing but real numbers and a is not equal to 0. In case of a equal to 0, the equation turns out to be bx plus c equal to 0. Here, the degree of x is 1. So, it turns out to be a linear equation. So, this condition is very most important. Next, coming to the standard form of quadratic equation. So, this is the standard form of quadratic equation. Next, coming to the types of quadratic equation. So, we have two types of quadratic equation. The first one is pure quadratic equation and the second one is complete quadratic equation. So, in the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0, if b equal to 0, then the equation turns out to be a pure quadratic e equation. If c equal to 0, then the equation turns out to be an incomplete quadratic equation. Next, coming to the roots of quadratic equation. Any quadratic equation will have two roots. Let me take those roots as alpha and beta. So, to find the roots of the quadratic equation, we have four methods. By factorizing, by square root method, by completing the square and quadratic formula. These three we can use for only some quadratic equations. But this quadratic formula we can use for anything. The quadratic formula is minus b plus or minus root over b square minus 4ac by 2a. So, this is called the quadratic formula. So, for this, let me take an example x square minus 2x plus 3 equal to 0. Now, I need to find the roots of this quadratic equation. So, plus 2 plus or minus root over 2 square minus 4 into 1 into 3 by 2 into 1. So, it turns out to be 2 plus or minus root over 4 minus 12 by 2. That is equal to 2 plus or minus root over minus 8 by 2. So, finally, the roots are 2 plus root over minus 8 by 2 and 2 minus root over minus 8 by 2. Next, coming to the value of discriminant. So, before going to nature of the roots, we need to know about discriminant. Discriminant is nothing but b square minus 4ac. This is the value of discriminant. So, discrim by using this discriminant, we can find the nature of the roots. We have three cases in this. If delta is greater than 0, if delta is equal to 0 and if delta is less than 0. If delta is greater than 0, then the roots are real and unequal. If delta is equal to 0, then the roots are real and equal. If delta is less than 0, then it has no real roots and it is imaginary roots. Next, coming to sum of roots and product of the roots. So, sum of roots alpha plus beta and product of the roots alpha into beta. So, we have the formula for product of the roots alpha into beta equal to c by a and for the sum of roots alpha plus beta equal to minus b by a. So, we got this formula by solving alpha and beta. We already learned that alpha equal to minus b plus root over b square minus 4ac by 2a and beta equal to minus b minus root over b square minus 4ac by 2a. So, if we multiply these two, we will get the answer c by a as true. Next, coming to the sum of the roots alpha plus beta equal to. So, if we add these two, we will get the answer minus b by a. So, this is the formula for sum of the roots that is minus b by a. It does not matter from which country you are or which language you speak. Because mathematics speaks only one language that anyone can understand. So, thank you Narana group of schools for giving me this opportunity in participating little teacher contest. Thank you. <laughs>